We have already dissected the BMW iX and grilled it over giant kidney grills. Its importance as BMW's first major electric vehicle and its feature-packed interior designed to overwhelm the customers and maybe compete with products like the EQE, Q8, e-tron, etc. But with all that out of the way, you might be wondering why are we still here? Why are we driving it again? Hi, I'm Grandi Samab. You are watching Overdrive, and this is the latest BMW iX50. Yes, that is the catch. We are driving the iX, but with a different suffix, X Drive 50. This video is all about the transformation iX has gone through while going from 40 to 50. Based on the feedback from the customers, BMW has made some changes and now it claims that this iX50 is the biggest, the quickest and comes with the highest range in its segment. In a nutshell, the horsepower, torque and range figures have gone up and 0 to 100 figure has gone down. New paints, new wheel design and two axle air suspension are part of the iX50 now. Let's take you through the changes and how they translate into actual performance. And in this video, we are going to find out how is this iX50 as a package? How is its performance? What kind of power features are we looking at? And uh, before that, if you haven't already, please subscribe to Overdrive's YouTube channel and press that bell icon. With this bigger motor, the 0 to 100 figure is 4.6 seconds. So let's check it out. I've uh, put this car in the sport mode. And uh, there's one more element which I'll talk about later. But let's see the acceleration first. 3, 2, 1 and go. <laughs> this is quick and exciting. Yes, the torque is addictive. But that other element I was talking about is this sound. This is the iconic sound composed by none other than Hans Zimmer. Yes, that genius music composer. You might remember Interstellar, Inception and maybe that Dune, I guess. Hans Zimmer composed these soundtracks for the iX. And this gives that spaceship wala vibe. Ironically, the iconic sound which is meant to compensate for the lack of exhaust note is what reminds you the most that you are driving an electric car. As you start driving the iX50, you stop craving for the loud exhaust note or the growl after some time. The acceleration, the quiet cabin and firm confident drive takes the center stage. The acceleration is electrifying and yet in a non-electric manner. The power surge is solid but linear. The car doesn't try to prove a point by giving it all in one go. It zips and then keeps going. Battery size has gone from 77 kilowatt hour to 111 uh, kilowatt hour. The power output has gone from 325 uh, PS to 523 PS and the range has gone from 425 uh, kilometers uh, to the claimed range of 635 kilometers per charge. The BMW iX xDrive 50 can be charged at home using a regular outlet, taking up to 11 hours for a full charge. Upgrading to a wall box can cut that time in half. With the DC fast charger, 10 minutes of charge can add a range of up to 150 kilometers. Depending upon the charges, the iX 50 can be charged from 10 to 80% in just 35 minutes. BMW offers a six year or 1,60,000 kilometers battery warranty. The X-Drive 50's front axle gets a power output of 258 PS and 312 PS for the rear axle. With the help of this, the car pulls like a sports car, making you forget the weight and bulk of the car unless there is a fast turn. And on bad roads, it behaves like a typical rugged SUV. It feels composed, planted and, thanks to the standard adaptive suspension, keeps you comfortable inside. iX also gets a ride height control mechanism, which independently adjusts the suspension in case of uneven weight load on different wheels. Swifty, let's talk about a couple of features which I find really interesting. For example, this is an EV and this does need a front grill. And yet, you have this kidney-shaped front grill, that typical BMW kidney grill 
uh, in iX50 as well. What it does, it houses all the sensors and the camera and gives a typical BMW shape as well. To keep the center of gravity low and uh, the body rigid, the BMW engineers have used certain carbon fiber panels, uh, which you can see here. The streamlined body with upright stance, tucked in flush fitting door handles, sharp exterior mirrors and muscular lines give iX a typical big bold SUV persona and yet keep it extremely aerodynamic. A car big enough to make 22 inch wheels look small has a drag coefficient of just 0.25. The way air blades and air curtains are integrated with iX design to deflect air helps the car extend the range by almost 15 kilometers. Even the underbody of iX is sealed to reduce the drag, contributing extra 10 kilometers to the total range. 15% lighter wheels and carbon cage body panels made up of carbon fiber reinforced plastics help the range as well. These weight saving measures and better aerodynamics compounded with bigger motor and battery size have helped the iX to excel in both practicality and performance. And then you must be wondering why an EV has this big bonnet. It doesn't have any engine. So I tried opening it to find out if it has a frunk. And there's a lever which releases some kind of lock in this, but uh, you won't be able to open it. There's a trick. So there's another lever on the other side and it just opens like this. And this iX has uh, taken the keyless entry game to the next level. For example, this car will detect the keys and welcome you with a light pattern. Three, two, one, yeah. And the car unlocks itself. And in case you have activated those features, seat heating, steering heating will start and the car will welcome you with an animation. Your phone will be connected to the car before you start. A couple of features which make this car look very distinct and maybe futuristic. One of them is this hexagonal uh, steering wheel. This looks uh, really distinct. The moment you sit inside this car, you realize that this is very different uh, from the BMWs you're used to. This has a flat bottom, helpful for taller drivers like us. And then this empty area, this clean area between the seats, uh, this gives a very different kind of vibe. One more element which is very unique is this huge glass panel which looks like a panoramic sunroof but it doesn't open. You just have to press this button. With that, you can turn this into a transparent or opaque glass panel and which will be helpful depending upon the climate you're driving in. Uh, in case you're driving in Delhi in May, June, I think this opaque scene is better. The second row of iX50 is a familiar space because you've seen it in uh, iX40 as well. So this uh, has you know, a slot for your iPad or tablet, Type-C charging port, dual zone uh, climate control. So all four passengers can choose different uh, temperatures. Then you have uh, AC vents on uh, this pillar, some space to keep the bottles. The comfort level of the seats, very high. Uh, the bench is broad, thigh support is nice back angle is also nice and then you know I'm 60 and still I have so much of uh, knee room and headroom so for two passengers really spacious and comfortable and then you get an armrest with cup holders isofix anchorages now that aspect which uh, kind of disappointed me which is the luggage space this has uh, 500 liters of luggage space uh, but there's a spare tire placed here, which eats into that space as well. The list of changes in the iX isn't that long, but significant nonetheless. The bump of almost 200 horses, 135 Newton meters, an extra 210 kilometers of range, more exciting and practical. The car feels like a big, bold SUV, drives like one, and accelerates like a sports car. So iX50 is a quick car. It's an exciting product for anyone who can afford this crore plus vehicle and still an enthusiast. This drives well, this handles well and is loaded with many luxury centric features. Even with uh, 
limited or maybe compromised luggage space, I feel that this is one of the best packages in its segment.